Yeah, it's a very interesting uh, place. The uh, toys are fairly recent, most late 20th century, with some uh, earlier. Um, they're, it's interesting to see the themes that run through them, especially in the years. So, uh, I've been looking around for toys I had when I was uh, young. Found a few of them, but not too many. So, uh, is it, do, you, do you think it's a, a good place for parents to bring their kids oh, yeah, on this, the holidays? And... This would be this would be very interesting, probably for uh, five to ten year old, somewhere in that range. Um, they, of course, are going to be interested in looking at the toys, not yeah. the uh, intellectual background. But yep. uh, yeah, it's a, it would be a uh, a very good uh, afternoon, not too much. It's about right for the attention span. It's not a large museum. It's about uh, enough that an hour or two uh, will go, and that's about right for a child. Cool. I think the reason why we like coming over here is because there's lots of different types of displays here. So obviously you've got the static ones, so you can look at the old toys, but there's lots of interactive things for children to do. So the children don't get bored, which is really important. Uh, and at the same time, it's, it's quite educational as well. You can talk about seeing grandma's and granddad's toys in here, and mummy's and daddy's toys, and mummy and daddy can say, that was my toy when I was little, like we've just seen a little Dalek, haven't we? So that's, that's I think, the appeal. It's, it's a mixture of seeing things from the past, but also doing stuff as well.